You were created by the original vampire spell, which means you can compel other vampires. And since I can't take away my vampirism, I want you to take away Damon. I want you to compel me to forget that I ever loved him. Okay, okay, so that was the biggest moment from last night's season six premiere of The Vampire Diaries, and now I think I have a lot of explaining to do. So yes, as you guys can see, if you haven't heard, Alaric is back. And in case you missed the memo, as if this dude has not already been through enough at this point, he's a vampire now. A vampire with, as Elena says, serious powers of compulsion. Elena does need Alaric's help in this episode because from what we saw throughout the entire premiere, she has become a total junkie. Addicted to some witchy herbs that Luke's been giving her so that she can hallucinate conversations with her dead boyfriend, Damon. Pretty basic stuff. But Elena's drug habit comes with a massive price. They cause her to get super thirsty. And I'm not talking about water here. This girl wants human blood, which is what turns her into the border lurker. Now, even though this episode takes place months after the season five finale, at the end of the summer and at the beginning of the school year, all of our favorite vamps are still locked out of Mystic Falls. So naturally, Elena has just been hanging around the town borders, feeding on people until she almost kills them and then compelling them to forget about the whole thing. Now, Caroline, who has dropped out of Whitmore to find a way to bring everybody back together because you know she loves to be social and loves all of her friends, she's trying to find an end to the spell that's keeping them out of town and she ends up figuring out what Elena's up to. And did I also mention that Caroline's BFF Stefan left town without telling her or anyone else and refuses to pick up her phone calls? Yeah, it's really sad and I have to say Stefan, it kind of sucks. But guys, it might be because he is ignoring the truth by dating a new girl named Ivy. They are getting up close and personal. Now as for Tyler, he's human again, he's back in college, and he's trying somewhat unsuccessfully to control his werewolf rage by working out incessantly and even practicing with the football team. Keep in mind, if he does kill someone, he's gonna go full on wolf status again. Matt, on the other hand, is giving Tyler a run for his money when it comes to fitness. He's pretty much been working out nonstop and volunteering with a group that wants to protect the town, while Jeremy is obviously in a deep-seated depression because he's pretty much spending all day long hooking up with random girls, boozing it up, and playing video games. Either he's losing his mind or he's living out every teen guy's fantasy. Not sure. Long story short here, everyone and everything on the show is a total mess, and we haven't even remotely figured out what's going on with Damon and Bonnie, who we got a glimpse of in just the last few seconds of the episode. Every day I tell you I hate that. And every day I do it anyway. Bon appétit. Okay, so question here, how is it that Bonnie and Damon are the brightest spot in the Mystic Falls universe? Vampire Fang pancakes? Are you serious? And is it just me or they fully resemble like a 1950s era old married couple? But everybody, more importantly, where the heck are they? I personally think the season six premiere is just really setting things up for the rest of the season, but we still have so many questions. Like again, what is even going on with Damon and Bonnie? And will Elena really be compelled to move on? And what about Stefan and Caroline? Are they ever gonna get together or what? And Jeremy, is he going to get it together? And those are just a few of our burning questions. What are you guys needing to know? I could really use some group support, so please feel free to tweet me, at Jocelyn Davis. You can always hit us up in the comment section below because we wanna hear your feelings. And if you need a moment like I do to just recover and maybe LOL a little bit, click right on over here to check out the first episode of Drama King on Clever TV, coming straight from one of my faves on YouTube and just in the universe in general. Kingsley, the show is really awesome. You guys are gonna love it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and you all have an Amaze Balls weekend. Bye, guys.